got the social medias, we got the social medias. You got the Facebooks, we got the Facebooks. You got the Twitters, we got the Tweeters. We got the uh, Instagrams, we don't really use that one too much, but you know, we're on there too. If there's something else, we probably got it. You can find them all in the description at the bottom. Hey guys. We've got Xbox News. Xbox News. I'm really enjoying this weather report news anchor shit that he's doing this episode. That's a helicopter. Special report. That's the news wire. Hot off last week's presses. Um, yeah, have, have any of you uh, guys? Uh, did you guys watch the? I watched it uh, presentation. I, uh, I I well I watched it, but I also uh, was kind of like I didn't care. It was the only one where I was just like, eh, whatever. I'll catch it when I catch it. I saw a bit of it, but you can give us a refresher, Hutch. <laughs> I will. Um, <laughs> what one thing that I would like to mention is so Xbox had like so many different language streams for this it was kind of nuts trying to find the one i actually wanted mm -hmm. i found one that said english uh, but it was actually english with uh audio descriptions so it showed everything and then it had a a, a dude that was describing what was happening on the screen <laughs> oh okay it was kind of wild that is amazing and <laughs> awesome i <laughs> i'm gonna try and and link it because it's I, I didn't know that that was a thing that people did uh, for accessibility, uh, but it makes sense. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I thought that was cool. Um, but yeah, so uh, they showed Halo Infinite. Um, it looks like Halo. Halo is Halo. Uh, running at high frame rate at 4K. Yeah, that was the big thing that came, uh, came out of it was that I saw a lot of people complaining about the graphics for the new Halo game. People complain yeah, about... Yeah, they went a lot more s simple with that, with a, a lot more simple palette. Um, I mean, they, they, they've kind of been um, alluding to this as like a soft reboot, mm -hmm. and so I guess the visual style is meant to kind of... Um, or the design, I guess, is supposed to allude back to that, I yeah. guess. I feel like people always complain uh, about graphics, though. It's not the graphics. It's just, you know. Yeah. Well, uh, the Xbox uh, Series X is supposed to be the um, supposed to be the more powerful the of newest, the consoles. Most innovative. So, yeah, piece some other of bullshit <clears throat> we have seen in our years to come. <laughs> exactly. So people are like expecting a lot out of Xbox because of that. <laughs> yeah. Well, th this is a, one of those titles that's designed for both one, the One and mm -hmm. the Series X and PC. So it's like. It, it's it's it can't push it as much as you would probably want it to mm. i mean like but uh uh it, yeah they gave master chief a grappling hook so that i'm excited about honestly the gameplay looked the, amazing yeah it looks really fun i i don't know why everyone's bitching about um about, about it but i mean it doesn't change the game it like it's more halo it, it's an open world halo actually um, oh i didn't know that so i'm actually i'm actually I'm really down it. if it's an open world halo <clears throat> yeah hmm. yeah it is yeah oh shit i'm really um, excited now <laughs> <laughs> um but uh yeah oh and they just recently announced that uh on the series x it'll go up to 120 frames mm -hmm. And the multiplayer is free to play. Yeah, it's something that I really caught with um, like Halo is with the whole show is that if you have <clears throat> Game Pass, uh, it's going to be free on day one, and like all of the uh, all of the uh, little it's their things basically going to be their like um, their service as a game kind of game is what they're trying to make Halo Infinite into, mm -hmm. which makes sense. I mean. You know, almost every platform has one of those. Like, it's their specific, like, service as a game game. Um, Animal Crossing for Nintendo, for example. So, I, uh, mm -hmm. I, I, I'm I not surprised to see that, to be honest. As long as it's good, I don't care. Yeah. As long as it's not good and exploitive, I'm happy. Right. Right. I, I They'll probably do the whole thing that everyone else has been doing. Sell cosmetics yep. and, and shit. Um, and Call of Duty does that now, too. So, yeah makes sense <clears throat> um let's see they, they they showed a lot more i mean uh, uh, i should say that was the only gameplay that they showed mm -hmm. um uh which was unfortunate but uh i guess they, they just showed a lot more things that are kind of a little farther out um they showed a few more like narrative driven games mm -hmm. um 
One was as dusk falls, um, and they kind of show that as kind of like a stop motion sort of style, and at least in the trailer, I guess I maybe that's not indicative of how gameplay will be, but uh, it looked cool. Oh no, it sounds interesting. Yeah, um, the the Life is Strange team uh, is doing um, another one. Uh, I'm trying to find them. Uh, tell me why. Um, Tell me why. I, sorry. <laughs> hey. uh, I'll, I'll stop there. Uh, so I, I just recently finished Life is Strange 2, and I was looking at this trailer, and I was like, a lot of these locales look very familiar. Um, yeah, is it supposed to be in the same so timeline, some, or is it different? It's supposed to be a, a completely different game okay. series. I mean, it could also be that they're reusing assets, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but like some of them look very much the mm-hmm. same that they were teasing. So I, I don't know. I could just be like looking way too much into it. One of my favorite uh, games from the Xbox thing was actually a story game, too. But um, we've known about it for a long time. It's not an announcement, but they showed uh, a bit more of uh, Psychonauts 2, which was mm. really cool. And I got really excited for that. Um, I we're gonna get we're gonna get a a new black uh, Jack Black track. Yep. Yeah. Which I I mean I'm down for that. Uh, I I want double. I'm when they bought Double Fine, I was a little worried about it because like I I, I want them to be unique and whole and whatnot. But I'm I'm still very very excited to see what they end up doing. Especially mm-hmm. post Psychonauts two because this Psychonauts two was like announced before they got bought so all that game's still going to every platform but after that it's going to be exclusively to xbox so mm-hmm. <clears throat> um how do you feel about more outer worlds very, actually i'm very excited about all of the outer worlds uh announcements that they had so and it looks like they're going to um have a lot of fun with it uh, the people at Obsidian did a really great job uh, with like all of the DLC for um, Fallout New Vegas, and they just had fun. They made a weird fucking story, and I expect them to do the same with uh, with Outer Worlds DLC. Mm-hmm. So I'm very excited about that. I'm, also, Outer Worlds was my favorite game last year. Um, I think Jairus and I had pretty similar opinions on that. Yeah, it was and, a great game. Uh, so yeah, uh, more more of that game sounds great. That was the first time in a long, long time where I was just like, uh, I was like, oh, credits. This game's already over. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I remember you kind of see Michelle still the likes game games. <laughs> <laughs> just not the last two I played. <laughs> oh, but um, no, it's uh, yeah. So yeah, I'm very excited for that. I can I could. I it's really rare for me to be like, oh, I give me as much of this game as I can get because I'm very happy with like 10, 15 hour long games. But I spent like 25 hours in Outer Worlds and I was still like, I thought I was halfway done and credits showed up and I was like, oh, but that was also like I'm used to Fallout games. So my expectations were like based on that. Gotcha. Yeah. Speaking of rare, <laughs> uh, they showed off a new game called Everwild. Looks it looks really great. Uh, I think it's a four player. It's a four style. Yeah, it looks like a four player Mystic Witch game. I don't, I don't know. It was it was a CG. At, uh, all of them were CG like trailers and whatnot. So I don't really know what it plays like. But story demographically, there's like four different witches that are like they seem like elementals for they the world. Stole Skipper's mm. game idea. I know. I was about to say. They like stole. They did. Holy shit! I didn't think about Mm. Mahu Warriors. You've got to defend your friend's intellectual property. All right. Well, let me get Brandon on that. Sue them. Yeah. Mm. (laughs) So defend the IP. (laughs) Uh, This is not a hundred percent related to the Xbox show, but Rare finally put out a gameplay trailer of the new Battle Toads, which is coming out in like three weeks now. Battle Toads, Um, and it looks amazing. And if you got Game Pass, like all these other games for Xbox, they're like, if you got Game Pass, it's available for free on the first day when it comes out. So I don't I don't think Rare is doing that new Battletoads game. It's supposedly by Rare, but uh, I'm sure there's like another like uh, developer that's actually doing it. 
It it looks mm. like a Newgrounds game. It looks like uh, it was the same people that made Castle Crashers to me. But I know it's not them, yeah. but that's what it looks like. Oh, okay. Where is announcing? Okay. I, I guess, um, yeah, one site said one thing, another one said another thing. Okay. Neat. Yeah, I'm, ex- I'm excited to play that. Yeah, it looks good. Uh, let's see. What else was there? Uh, more Tetris Effect. Everyone gets Tetris Effect. Oh, that one was fun because our, we had our co-workers were in that video. Yeah, that so, was cool. And I, Tetris Effect oh. was uh, the closest thing a video game has ever gotten to a religious experience for me. <laughs> <laughs> I know that sounds really fucking dumb, it but does. it's true. The shapes. I love you so much. That's ridiculous. The colors. But also I, understand. I love that game. It's so amazing. I want to get high and play that game because I wasn't getting high when I played it. But um, but yeah, I um, I am very excited about the game. It was really cool to see a couple of our coworkers in the trailer for it. And it's basically Tetris Effect, but now it's multiplayer. So I'm very excited. Nice. It looks great. I will play it again because I don't have to pay money for it. <laughs> yeah, Game Pass. <laughs> yeah. Um, there's this game called The Medium that looks really rad where it's kind of it, 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 it simultaneously renders two versions of the exact same world. One's kind of like a Silent Hill style, like a po- post apocalyptic oh, yeah. world. And the other is kind of like a present day. Uh, and I guess it, w- whichever one you go with, like, depends on what enemies you get. And it changes the look of the character as well. That's going to spook me rad. out. I, um, That's it, it, it looks like a spooky game. Too spooky. Yes, it's a it kind of re- dark mystery. It kind of reminded me of Legacy of Cain, where there's like a living world and a dead world, and if you die, you go to the dead world, but you don't technically die. You can always like earn health and come back to the living world. It kind of reminded mm-hmm. me of that. Don't talk to yeah. me until they re-release Gabriel Knight, <laughs> <laughs> my favorite point-and-click adventure. It's the only game I care about. <laughs> Well, good luck with that one. Wow. <laughs> we're, we're, we're more likely to put out Gabriel Knight than anyone else oh, is. I'm going to bother our bosses then. You should. Like, what up? You should. <laughs> Gabriel Knight. The same people that made System Shock with us, they actually have the rights to it. Night Dive? Mm-hmm. Hmm. So. Hmm. 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 So, it's possible. Um, I, a few more things I wanted to mention. Bala, Balan Wonderworld. <laughs> okay. They should just call that Wonderland because it goes so much better, I feel like. Uh, it's another, it's a platformer. Yeah. Um, it's new. It looks, oh, it's a, it's a Squeenix platformer. Um, Squeenix. Squeenix. Looks cool. Squeenix. Squeenix. <laughs> Squeenix. What the hell's that? Oh. <laughs> uh, Dragon Quest is coming to Xbox. I found out about that when I booted up Game Pass. Uh, that was... <laughs> that's one way. That was a surprise. Yeah. Well, yeah, so it was, uh, um, those two were announced on a, on the pre-show, mm-hmm. which is uh, Jeff Keighley's, like, um, summer of E3 thing he does. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and uh, New Fable. I never played any of the other Fables. That was, that so. was a big announcement. It was the... Uh, it was the secret that everybody knew about um and like it everyone knew it was coming but it was still really cool they're rebooting fable um the gritty uh, reboot that's great of for- fable <laughs> yeah it's peter molyneux still so involved <laughs> nope not at all no no uh no they did four fables he's, with he's him. still trying to pay pay out his cash prize for um the person who who uh beat the box yeah or whatever yeah that stupid thing, box thing, game weird mobile game <laughs> peter Molyneux is batshit crazy <laughs> hot take he so is. yeah and microsoft didn't want him to have like some weird fucking weird money prize that would be a a hole in their investment so they got rid of him and took the fable franchise and uh, it, honestly, it looks really good. It was really cute. As soon as I saw it, it was it was a, just a CG trailer, and it's just um just this fairy that really high detailed, really good looking fairy uh 
like uh, is graphically going through the forest or whatnot. And she's just like super cute. And then all of a sudden she's on a flower. She's pollinating the flower or something or whatever. Whoa, that sounds sexy. And then all of a sudden like a frog eats her and it's hilarious. Oh. So. So you're telling me you're into war. I guess so. Oh. <laughs> all right. We're learning about each other. Yep. It's all a yep. journey. Yep. Yep. <laughs> But yeah, I, I enjoy I enjoyed the show. Yep. Um. Well, since we're at the end, let's let's go ahead and finish off with the the be- the biggest announcement: Fantasy Star Online Two New Genesis. I'm so excited for that. Uh, my boss actually messaged me. He text messaged me, and he was just like, "Oh, you gotta have to jump in back in the game now." And I was like, "Okay, I guess I I guess I have to." <laughs> so uh, so he was just like. I, he's like, I miss having a cowgirl in my group because in Fancy Star Online 2, I am a giant Amazonian cowgirl. So. Beautiful. I have to jump back in a game. Yeah. And it looks good. I, it's um, like a I, next gen version of it because that uh, the original game is like from 2012. Even though we just got yeah, it. Th- <laughs> it. I've been trying to figure out exactly what this thing is because it's supposed to exists side by side it's supposedly with regular fantasy star it's they're calling it an expansion but it's basically a brand new game yeah. and like well that's what pay items tr- uh translate and like uh ba- any any kind of like cosmetics you've earned can like will go over as well but besides that it's it's a whole brand new other experience so mm-hmm. which i'm excited for it looks great. It looks like uh, it looks like uh, Devil May Cry mixed in with an MMO. So I'm down. Maybe I'll I'll uh, actually get into it. Um, knowing me, probably not. <laughs> but I would. I would wow. Have to. <laughs> now for the biggest announcement, I'm probably not gonna play it. <laughs> That's the best. I want to pretend like praise I might, I've ever heard. But I might not. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Hutch. I love you so much. Oh, thank you. And I love you. Aww. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. <laughs>